How the fuck are you guys doing? Once again, this is Max, or Doing It For Her, coming back at you with the Road to 100 Ranked Victory Series. This is episode 22, I think, and I'm rolling with Lyoto Machida because he is a highly, highly requested guy that I use by a lot of you guys. I guess a lot of my viewers are um, heavy, heavy Lyoto Machida fans, and he's fighting Ryan Bader on, a, on a, an upcoming card. I'm not sure which one, but... I'll be on the lookout for that. I expect him to dominate, but people keep saying he's a puzzle that's been solved now, so... I don't know. I still am I'm a Machida fan. I like him. I like his style. It's really good. I was hoping Alexander Gustafson was going to fight him, and then... Uh, Alexander Gustafson's probably one of my favorite light heavyweights, and I uh, was hoping Gustafson... It would be a real challenge for him, and hopefully he'd get the the victory, you know, something like that, and prove himself, because apparently if he wins his next fight, he gets a title shot, and rumors were that it was going to be Shogun or Machida, but now they're both booked, Shogun versus Thiago Silva, the guy that Gustafson just beat, and now Machida is versus Bader, like I just said, but, uh, anyways, yeah, Lyoto being a highly requested guy, as I stated, this guy's rolling with Kevin Randleman, very, very, um, I don't know, odd fight, we kind of just go back and forth pretty good, and this actually lasts a long time. You guys will see it. I'm not going to give too many spoilers, even though that kind of might have just did it, but I get <laughs> knocked down twice pretty nastily right there. And this was before my counter-punching was kind of like on key. Um, as you, if you can see by my player matches, I've been uploading it like on the UFC 145 video and the UFC on Fox video and then something other video that I made. You'll see my counter-punching has been really good. And like I said um, in a previous episode of uh, Road to 100 Ranked Victories that I have all these old, old ranked fights on my computer that I need to get off my computer. So that's what I'm going to start doing. So the next few episodes, you won't see me as good as um, I am now, if you could tell by that Mark Hunt <laughs> last episode. <laughs> that was a really old fight before the records even got reset. And man, you can tell how much I improved by that fight. I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, one idea that I do have is um, making goals. I know I do ask you guys who you'd like to see me use, but I'm thinking about setting up goals now. Like, for instance, using Czech Congo and getting a um, knockout with a body shot, something like that. So if you guys have any cool goals, like, for example, the one that I just said, but here's what you guys could do. You could leave a comment saying, like, um, insert division here. We'll say, use light heavyweight division, use Shogun go for like kick TKO something like that something cool like that um, if you guys want to post comments like that little challenges I'll try to get them as much as I can and as best as I can in my future road to 100 rank victories episodes so um I think the Chuck Congo one that I just said is what I'm gonna do in my next live pride fight which I know I promised but like I said I gotta get all these old episodes off my computer so I can go and start playing some more with um my new stand-up style kind of. Oh, I actually do enjoy counter-punching. I am glad that I got better at it and I hope you guys have been uh, noticing because I know a lot of you uh, claim the the uh, ground style that I was strict to has been really bad and I've gotten good with my clinch now. I think I'm an all-round good player in this game now. I, I know I wasn't before but um, in the road to 100 rank victories really has along the way and if you guys are new to the series go check out all the old episodes you can watch my, me uh, grow into a good player this game and you can also get all the tips that I gave I haven't been given as many tips as I used to lately but one tip I'll give in this fight is that watch the stamina bars closely you'll see me always know when he's gonna go for a reversal or something because right, right there the stamina bar if you look in uh, the corners it, they'll drop um, and you'll notice that's when they went for one. And I don't know what the fuck I was doing here. I think I was trying to go for full mount and I fucked up. And then he gets me with this lame-ass fucking auto transition or whatever to side control that some people have. But back on that topic of the, the stamina bar, you'll notice like a, a slight drop of it. And I'm always looking at the stamina bars at the bottom when I'm on the when I'm, I'm on my back. I think that's why I'm so good on my back a lot of the time is because I'm paying attention to the stamina bar. See how he's going for the transitions and it made the slight um, drops, but when they go for uh, transition reversals, it does these really really slight drops, and you'll notice them. And then that's when I push out um, because they can't fucking uh, get out of it because they were already in the middle of doing a a transition reversal and they failed it, so you can just hop right out and either get out of off your back, or you can go into um, 
a better position when you're on top. And right there I get the reversal, but once again he's just trying to buck me off and stuff like that. See right there, if you notice the drops throughout the video when they go for the tr uh, reversals, that's a good tip I can give you guys. I do it all the time, that's why I'm so good on my, my back mostly, but it does help in the beginning, like when you're on top and stuff and can create better positions for you. And I was trying to just get the reversal on here, but I think he does slam me. But one thing I can tell you, that they don't always expect you to push right off when you go for, uh, when they get hit with the slam. Or when you get hit with the slam, they expect to, like, to work you a little bit or for you to wait. But if you push off right away, usually, you can just fucking bounce right out because they don't expect it. But later on, he starts to realize that's what I was doing. And, uh, he actually counters it and puts me into side control, so... Try not to get too predictable, as I always say. That's my main thing. And right here, you can tell my inexperience of counterpunching at the time. He's uh, piecing me the hell up right there. And then we're going to go into the, the third round right here. Now, I'm thinking I'm winning, but I'm not sure. I, I know I lost that second round, but I know I, I think I won the first one round. So that's my mindset going into it. And there's a replay of the big slam. I haven't done a two uh, episodes in one video lately, so... If we can get this episode up to, let's say, 60 likes and at least, I don't know, 15 and 20 comments, because it seems like people have stopped commenting lately, and I like to hear feedback, and I want to hear some challenges from you guys that I stated earlier, so 60 likes, I know we can achieve that really easily, and um, 15 comments or 20, and I'll do a cool two episodes in one uh, video as the next episodes so we'll do 23 and 24 if we can achieve that goal because I got two really sweet three round Cub Swanson fights those are my first fights in the uh, featherweight division because he's like the only guy I really like using in that division because everybody picks fucking Aldo and he's OP as shit over fucking powered so we'll do that and I hope you guys will enjoy it they're two three round fights so it might be my longest video yet because uh, they both are like 10 minutes so it could be like a 18 to 20 minute fight now, you saw I was in full mount here, and the reason I swapped out of it is because if you saw a little bit beforehand, he just held me down, and I couldn't posture up, and the ref just separated us. I really didn't want that to happen again, so I just switched to uh, side control and did damage as much as I could until he did the sweep. I forgot Randleman had that. And I can't give many tips for this because this is actually a really hard thing to get out of. I guess you, all you can really do is try and learn their pattern and... Uh, block and then transition out as best as you can, but that's what a lot of people do, and it's something I do too. And here's what I was talking about earlier about um, they go for the transition reversal, and you can get off your back really easily. As you see, I, I kind of waited for him to do another one, and as soon as he hits it, my eyes were already on his stamina bar, and I kicked right out. Now, I, I know I won the first round, the second round was a kind of a toss up, but in my mind, like I said uh, a few minutes ago, when we were still in that round, I thought I lost it, and now this round, I kind of knew I lost, uh, so I wasn't sure, the fight really was going either way, he gets me with another big slam and starts this again, I'm trying my best to get out of it, and once again, like I said, you just gotta, you know, try and learn the pattern, and do your best, and I pop out here again, and he's playing really timid, because maybe he thinks he lost too, so he's trying to just keep taking me down, keeps taking me down, I should have been throwing my intercept knee, to try and scare him, or at least try and rock one, but I wasn't thinking at the time. I kind of forget things like that. But I do get him with a really quick rock here at the end, and I was like, oh shit, maybe that could have secured me the round, but I'm not sure. I got taken down a lot. So I'm pretty sure he, he won this round. But then when it comes down to it, guys, for the first time ever, after 21 episodes, episode 22, we get a decision, and I win it by unanimous 29-28. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Now let's try and get those... 60 likes and 20 comments. This has been Max. Thank you for fucking watching. See you, everybody.